Welcome back, love stylers. I'm Misty. Today we're going to be talking about the five easiest ways to eat clean. And this makes living a lot more balanced, a lot more easier than going so severe on some of these diets. We talk a lot on this channel about the carnivore diet, which I've been on for three years, and the keto diet, which I was on before that for two years. So about half the time I was on keto, then I moved over to carnivore. Carnivore is just keto 2.0. In this last five years, guys, I love a low carb lifestyle because I lost 55 pounds. I got rid of my high blood pressure. I'm on no medication for anything, especially the high blood pressure, which I was on previously. I've also given up alcohol and quit drinking because I was an alcoholic. If you are like me, you are a normal human being and you are not perfect. I think we strive for perfection and that is a big mistake. So our first flaw as humans is to expect perfection out of ourselves. So I'm not here to preach to you guys. I'm no professional on nutrition. But I have improved my life so much, I want to share it with you. So stick with me, guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. So this concept of us trying to always be perfect, or even to appear perfect, is insane. We can't keep up with this. Now, making small pivots and small changes in your life and tweaking your lifestyle is just smart because you're trying to get healthier, of course. Let me just name some stuff and give you the real real about what I don't like about myself. So people always like to say how they're not judgmental and you shouldn't be judgmental. Well, I'm judgmental guys. I hear my own thoughts in my head and just about every moment of every day, I have this voice in my subconscious telling me, oh, that looks terrible on that person or Misty, you can't use a lavalier mic. They always sound like shit. Well, here I am using a lavalier mic because I'm always wrong. So when you have judgmental thoughts in your head, it's okay. For example, I've been in a band for 22, 23 years. Check out Black Eyed Soul, but I still need voice lessons, guys. When I look in the mirror and I have no clothes on, I still see a fair amount of jiggling going on. I'm not at my goal weight. I have not been great at my job at all times. I have been argumentative with people. I do not listen very well. My eyebrows are crooked. When you do your eyebrows, they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. Well, most of the time, and you guys may see this on my videos, my eyebrows are like second cousins. Some of us fall into victimhood, where we're the victims all the time, and people are always mistreating us, yet we don't put up our boundaries. You may be the person in your family that does everything for everyone, so you can blame them because you have to do it for them. Sometimes I get judgmental and triggered when I go onto social media, and other people might be living the lifestyle that I want to live but can't afford just yet. I sometimes want to blame other people for the problems that I may have caused myself. And these are just some of the regular human things that we all deal with. You know, our health may not be exactly where we would like it to be. We may not have given up those snacks we love so much and we keep turning to these things and giving into these addictions. What I think we ultimately want is to be proud of ourselves. When you get down to it, guys, sometimes we are seeking validation from others because we can't find it within ourselves to be proud of ourselves. Well, today I'm gonna to give you five easy ways to eat clean so you can be more proud of yourself. Because when it comes down to it, guys, that's all we really want is to feel a little bit more balanced. My first way to eat clean in an easy way, single foods. A single food is exactly what it sounds like. An egg, an apple, a piece of celery, there's no ingredients in a single food. That's why it's single. When you don't know where to begin and when you wanna clean up your diet even more, a single food is always a better choice. Now, I'm going to include meats, cheese. Even though cheese may have one ingredient, 
to make it into cheese from milk, it is a single food. So I'm going to allow it. It is an actual food. Something that you can look at and say, is this food or is this not food? The second easiest way to eat clean is to choose foods that are either not in a package or have less ingredients. And by less, I mean five ingredients or less is a good place to start. When I first started keto a few years ago, guys, I became a label reader and I had never read labels before this. And if I did, it was way, way back in the early 90s when I was looking for fat and calories. Well, today we know by eating on a low carb diet that it's more based on the sugar that is added and the carbs. So reading labels becomes almost like a new education. The first thing I do besides reading the carbs and the sugar on a label is to look at the ingredient list. That is very, very important. If it has five ingredients or less, you're usually pretty good. Now, this is not like a black or white situation because sometimes the ingredients could be soybean oil. You don't want soybean oil, guys, but things with less ingredients are typically better for you than things with a lot of ingredients. So a lot of things have to be processed. And processed means it needs to be made, created to be shelf stable for months, days, years, what have you. So the less ingredients you have, the better off you will be and the cleaner you will be eating. If the packaged food has a, a name like Oreo is not a food, Dorito, is not a food. Twinkies are not a food. They are a Franken food. They are created in a lab. They contain chemicals, toxic oils, emulsifiers, which is turns out is something like a food glue to keep things mixed and stuck together, like for crackers and things like that. They have to stay together, guys, so they use all of this crap that is not food to create your Franken food. This stuff destroys the gut. So anything processed, if we can stay away from it, is a good place to begin. Or at least guys, you know, less of it in your life if you're just getting on your low carb journey. My third easiest way to eat clean is no snacking. So a lot of people have heard of intermittent fasting by now. Intermittent. <laughs> It's intermittent. It kind of sounds like intermittent. Intermittent, don't you think? Intermittent, <laughs> I don't know why that word sounds so funny. Intermittent, intermittent. It sounds weird both ways. But intermittent fasting is the big, big, big secret to staying low carb, staying on your diet, eating clean, shedding your fat, and staying in ketosis. So no snacks, guys, whenever possible. Don't beat yourself up if you had a piece of cheese in between meals. Make sure you keep up your water. Drink seven cups if you can a day and include your pink salt, and this will be very, very helpful because most of the time, guys, when we think we are hungry, we are really thirsty, and I have tested this out. A lot of times when I think I'm hungry, I'm really thirsty. So drink that water and you'll see you can go a lot longer without a snack. My fourth easiest way to eat clean and stay in ketosis and lose your fat is making wise drink choices. So this means staying away from the soda, guys. Yes, even diet. It will surprise you how much crap they put in soda. So a lot of people who are dieting they turn to diet soda because it doesn't have sugar in it, so they think it's safe. And it doesn't have calories or not very many calories, so they think it's safe. And there's no nutritional value in soda. So if it triggers you when I say that it is toxic, which it is, because you're still drinking diet soda, I understand it's hard to listen right now. But the way I could put it to you is, let me use myself for example. When I was drinking alcohol, 
I did not realize what it was doing to my body, my gut, my brain. Alcohol was part of my diet. Think about that for a minute. What diet have you ever seen to lose weight and improve your health recommends to drink more alcohol? So therefore, I could equate this to the same thing. What diet have you ever heard of that recommends drinking more soda? They're both toxic. They're both going to ruin your gut and then you'll never lose weight. So without sounding too preachy here, staying away from diet soda, staying away from regular soda, just like I stayed away from alcohol and figured out that was jacking me up because I couldn't have just one. I had to have many drinks a week. So if soda is an addiction for you, I want you to consider without hating me right now, that even if you backed off and replaced one soda a day, diet soda, with water, just one water a week to replace one of your sodas would be a good place to begin if you feel like it's going to be hard to get off the diet soda. And I've been there, guys. I used to drink full-on Fanta, full sugar Fanta. And I found out last week that... For citrusy tasting sodas, they actually use a chemical that they use in rocket fuel as a flame retardant. The same chemical is used in citrusy tasting sodas. And a lot of the good sodas that taste good have a citrusy flavor, especially Mountain Dew and especially Fanta. You know, most of us who are thriving on a low carb diet, carnivore, keto, or just eating clean in general, we are mostly drinking water. Now, so all I drink, guys, is water, coffee, and I really, I'm not that into tea these days, but tea is allowed. Consider sweet tea, putting a little stevia in there is a little bit better than all of the ingredients that they put in sodas. And some of these, you know, energy drinks, even if it says Gatorade Zero, I want you to look at the ingredients. And if you did the work to investigate what those ingredients actually are, you will naturally not want to drink it anymore. So even if the zero calories, even if there are sweeteners that are not sugar that don't raise your insulin levels, I want you to still consider how we can pivot from the drink you're having now to a healthier drink. Now, water is always going to be the best for you. We are like 90% water. So water, 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 drink your seven glasses. Oh, and I might add sparkling water is a savior for me. So I consider sparkling water the same as water. Now I know it has a little extract in it, but sparkling water is very, very, very helpful. Very helpful guys, if you're trying to transition from soda. You eventually get used to it. It takes about a week to get used to it. But once you do, it's so worth it. This is for your health. This is for your longevity. This is for a better life and eating clean from now on. You know, I just want to add this to the drinks part is I have a feeling that even though we have demonized sugar and rightly so, I think they're gonna find out when they do more tests on these artificial sweeteners. Now there's some out there. We know that Splenda's not good and Sweet and Low's bad and there's a few others that we know about. But I think we're going to find out eventually that there are more that they're going to add to the list of sweeteners that are no good for us. For example, I cannot have erythritol. Now erythritol is considered one of the best ones in the community, but for me, erythritol made me the sickest I ever was in my life. In my life, guys, this was gastrointestinally, and I had a lot of problems with digestion, but it jacked me up for about a week. So being cautious of these sweeteners is something I want you to start to think about. And my fifth easiest way to eating clean, as a quick reference, is to eat meat, dairy, and eggs. So if you're on the carnivore diet, which is basically an amped up version of keto, because you want to get to your goals even faster. And I love this, guys. I love carnivore. It's so fun. 
Um, is eating meat, dairy, and eggs. Most of the time on just some days of the week, however you want to do this, is a very clean way to eat, the cleanest way to eat, as a matter of fact, in my opinion, because it's nutritionally dense. It is adding the nutrition your body actually needs, knows how to use, and will not screw you up. So we're talking, you know, meat, steak, hamburgers with no bun, chicken wings, chicken on the bone, chicken off the bone, and lamb. We're talking about pork ribs, any kind of pork, bacon. Also, butter is a staple. Butter is something that keeps you full for a very long time. Get the good butter if you can. If not, get the best butter you can afford. So eating meat, dairy, and eggs. I didn't mention the eggs. Eggs are so versatile, guys. If you haven't embraced eggs in your life because you think they're only for breakfast, I'm going to give you some tips right now. Let's just say you wanted to try eating carnivore for two days. I'm going to recommend you make about six to eight hard boiled eggs. I'm also going to recommend that you keep them in the fridge. Then you want to also cook up a bunch of bacon, cook up a pound of bacon, keep both the hard boiled eggs in your fridge and the bacon. Now, when you are hungry, so hopefully it's around mealtime when you're getting hungry. And I do this, guys. I have like um, what it seems like a snack, but it's within my eating window. So I will eat like two hard boiled eggs when I'm going strict carnivore and I'll have a few pieces of bacon before my actual meal. And my actual meal will be just meat, like pork ribs, for example. And that will be my entire meal. And even sometimes that will be my only meal. So that is a strict carnivore diet. Now, a lot of people use butter, like I was saying, on your meat. It just makes it that more decadent. There are other things you can have too, guys. There's cheese, there's cream cheese, there's sour cream. You can add spices and make little dips with this stuff. Uh, pork rinds, you can run too. I've even made you know, pork rinds with cheese on top as a pre-meal snack within my eating window. So it's not really a snack, guys. It just feels like a snack. And it makes you feel like you're not missing out on the fun foods sometimes. I've made deviled eggs for the week and brought them to work as my lunch because it feels like a little fancier, a little more fun to have meat, dairy, and eggs in a fun way. You know, you can also do like some cured meats occasionally. You shouldn't eat a ton of cured meats, guys, because I guess there's nitrates in there. And that goes back to the ingredients that we don't love. But having um, some salami once a week isn't going to kill you. I buy cheaper steaks. And sometimes I'll just cook one in the air fryer, leave it in the fridge. And then if I feel like I'm hungry before I have my meal, I can have a few bites of steak. Cold steak is very good for some reason. Chuck eye is my favorite steak. And I even like it now, guys, better than ribeye. Another thing I do to eat clean, guys, is I just take a string cheese or a piece of cheese and fry it right in a pan. And it tastes almost like a cheese stick, like a mozzarella stick, especially if you have the right kind of pan. I think it's the ceramic pans. And they cook almost like they make their own crusty outside. And I love just frying up a piece of string cheese before my meal as a pre-meal snack. Please comment, guys, if you have any better tips or more tips to help other people. Put them in the comments. I want to hear your tips today. We want to thank you for listening to Black Eyed Soul. That's our music. Andrew and I record right here in this room in our home. And you can find us at blackeyedsoul.com or anywhere you find streaming music. We are there. And my truth bomb today is eating clean is very, very doable. It provides balance in your life. In case you don't want to go strict carnivore, in case you don't want to try to lose a pound a day on a strict diet of any type, eating clean is an easy answer when you're making a decision on what am I going to have to eat tonight. So use these five tips today. And I want to add this. Allowing. The word allowing sounds much more forgiving than saying I cheated on my diet. 
when you allow yourself to have something off plan that may have come from a package that may be a full sugar treat or dessert doesn't make you a bad person allowing some of these things occasionally is absolutely human and natural for a healthy balance in your life you do not have to be perfect perfection is overrated loving yourself first being super grateful for all of your gifts that you have to offer to the rest of us looking in the mirror and being proud of how you did that day or proud of the gifts that god gave you is a good place to start because you deserve it please let me know if you need any more tips for me personally in the comments and i will answer you thank you for tuning into love style today stick with me this year i will help keep you on track peace